Hey, what's up, guys? Um, it's Mickey the Barber, and in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, my mobile barber bus that I had a few years ago. Um, a few people had hit me up and asked me some questions about it, so I just wanted to touch on some questions that they had about my, um, my bus that I did. Now, initially, the idea came to me in like 2015, maybe like in October or something like that, of 2015. I actually was going through the air, uh, the, the internet, and I came across um, a barber um, in Los Angeles. Um, and he had a mobile barber bus, um, but it was a Mercedes Benz bus. Um, and shout out to um, Twan Cuts um, in, in LA. Um, so he had this Mercedes Benz barber bu uh, bus. Um, it, it was just super dope. And I was like, yo, I, I have to like try this, even though I know that I didn't have the money for no Mercedes Benz bus. Um, the, just the idea of it was like, I, I know I'm gonna try something new. Now at the time I had like, um, maybe like a little over 400 clients. Uh, my wife had been helping me with my business. so. Um, she had helped me be able to to build up a lot of my clientele through through um, through social media. So um, I um, I literally I was just ready for something new at that time. I had clients coming from everywhere around Houston. Um, I had people coming from Conroe. I had people coming from Humble. I had people coming from Rosenberg, Katy, um, Deerbrook. Um, I had people coming from. Uh, like every every direction that you can think around. Houston is very big, so I had people coming from everywhere. And I tried my best to be in the central location, which was um, Galleria area. So um, I thought maybe I could go to some of their sides of town sometimes and, you know, just kind of, you know, park and, and cut their hair and then just skirt off, you know. So once we decided that that's what we wanted to do, we thought it was a cool concept, um, we started looking for what types of trucks that we wanted to actually try to do. And for me, I'm just like, I want a big truck, but I don't want something too big because I don't want to have to, I'm, I'm going to be driving it. And I'm small. I'm like, I ain't trying to drive no 18-wheeler around just to cut hair. So um, we looked at um, all type of different, different trucks. We looked at um, mobile homes. We looked at um, shuttle buses. We looked at... Um, regular school buses we looked at just in large size trucks like u-hauls um we was looking at all types of different trucks to to get us started um but i was still kind of glued to the 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 shuttle bus type of thing mm -hmm. so the final 15 of shuttle bus we um found it along on outskirts of um houston and we picked it up we, the truck was working perfectly fine um, we had to get a little few things fixed on it and um we went with that now, of course, when we got the truck, it still had the seats in it. Um, I would prefer to get one that didn't have the seats in it, um, that was like gutted out. Um, we did see a few that was gutted out, but they didn't work at all. They wasn't working perfectly good. So, um, so we took it home and I I took all the seats out. Um, my wife helped me out a little bit with taking out the seats, but I took all the seats out. We gutted it out, basically. We took everything out. Um, and me and my wife, we did the flooring, um, and I had an electrician come over, and he um, he wired the truck. For, and um, the, the same guy who did the sockets is the same guy who also wired it for the lighting and everything in there. Um, as far as you know, putting everything else in there, um, I, I found like a, um, a actual like barber um, station that um, I was able to just put in the back of it and then um, and kind of bolt it down. And then um, I got, me and my wife found someone to make us a bench to put in there for seating. At the process of me and my wife doing it, we, you know, making sure that we calling the, um, the state board to make sure that we're doing it properly because I didn't want to be fined or anything or I didn't want to come in and be shut down. Um, one thing they did tell me was that I needed a, a, a restroom inside of here of my bus or I needed to be parked in a location that has an accessible restroom. So um, that was a little hard for me too because I'm like, dang, should I put one in there 
or you know what I'm saying? Should I just make sure that I'm parked in front of a front of a location? But I'm like, if I'm parked in, if I have to do that, then I need to make sure that the locations that I'm parking in front of have an accessible restroom. So then I had to find me like a, a, a welder um, to uh, create like this uh, gate around my, um, to hold it up and to create like a gate around my generator. Um, kind of like a, some burglar bars because I didn't you know, want someone to come and steal my generator. And I also had to find a, um, a plumber to uh, for my sink because um, when I did the sink, um, I, I relatively felt like I had bought, I, I, I bought everything that I needed. I looked up how to make a, um, a sink, basically like how to make like an outdoor sink. Um, and I literally basically kind of did it from scratch myself. The only thing is I couldn't get the water pressure to be right. So I did have to have a, a plumber to come in to help me with the pressure. So one thing that I did know that I wanted to incorporate into the bus was um, I wanted to be like a lounge type feel. I wanted the guys to relax once they come in after a, a, you know, a long day of work and they come and get a haircut. I want to lounge, you know? Uh, so I did add a, a, a bar, like a mini bar in there where they could see, you know what I'm saying? They could see the alcoholic beverage, tell me what they want. And then, you know, I added a TV over that. So um, it, was, it was a pretty nice type of feel. So like two years prior to that, my wife had bought me like a, a an antique barber chair that she had found at a, um, a auction. Like super excited to have. Um, she had got the chair from me, but I ha hadn't been able to utilize it because it was so heavy. So um, once we had got the idea of doing the bus, I was like, yo, I can put my chair in there, <laughs> finally. So, uh, so now we're at the point to where we have everything done and it's time for me to go and set up. So I tried to pick some areas that was, you know, a little bit, close to me um just try to try it out um i go to an area park on the street yeah they told me to mute to move a few times you know hey you can't be parked here you know cutting hair doing you know doing your business on the streets um i started decide i decided to just start trying trying parks um parks didn't work out um, mainly because, of course, you can't construct business on the park um, without the city's permission. Um, so, because I didn't have a permit to work on the, the park, which they don't let you do business on the park parks grounds, anyways. Um, they just I, it was just a, it was just hard. All parking lots are owned by someone, so I would have had to pay someone to be in that parking spot, which I had just spent like twenty grand on the truck, so uh being paying someone to to park my truck there would really be defeating the purpose of me having this truck and being able to to do what i need to do in it you now so once it became hard for me to find a location for me to actually post up and cut hair like i just decided to just post up in my apartment um in the parking lot of my apartments and, and cut and just have people come to my apartments um but eventually i got tired of that because i'm just like you know i might as well just get a location if this gonna be all the case, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that was the dog, the downfall of my truck. Um, overall, um, I felt like it was a, I still feel like it was an amazing idea. I don't think that it worked for me because I was in Houston and I had relatively too many clients. I was able to raise my prices a little bit, so that was a good thing. But you know what I'm saying? It didn't work out too well for me. My clients were excited to get their hair, their hair done, and they were crazy excited that they was able to come to a new space that was um something they hadn't seen before so um that also was a good thing but i wouldn't be able to keep up with being in one location where, where people can come and they know automatically where to come to um that was hard for my clients because they was just like i ain't trying to come to all these different space all these different locations every week like i just need one spot i need to come to so I did, I did decide to let the truck go after maybe like a few months um, because it wasn't working out for me like I really wanted it to. So I, I decided to sell it. I sold it right before we moved to uh, to Los Angeles. Um, I sold it to a barber that was in a smaller town. Um, it really worked out for him. I hope it's still working out for him. Um, but when I moved to LA, I was like, man, I wish I would have still had my truck because it would have been perfect 
um, in LA, you can just pay to park on the street. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could just pay all day and cut out my truck and ain't nobody gonna come to me and say nothing. So, um, you know, whatever you decide, if anybody decides to, to do a mobile barber bus, um, just make sure that you, you know what I'm saying? You have somewhere to park your truck. Um, if you don't, if you are not planning on having a big clientele, um, just make sure that you're making enough money to cover the ends of drive, driving on top of making the money for the service. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for, for, for tuning in. And I have another video for you guys soon. Peace.